Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, I'm just going to do a flip through of a couple new sweet little journals that I've completed. Um, they both, I've made two, two of them. They both come in uh, these little drawstring bags. There's one in here. Let me pull it out because I'm going to do a flip through of both of them. Uh, their covers are different. Um, this is a real nice heavy duty fabric and I make, I make these bags. So they're, they're just drawstring bags that you can carry your, um, journaling supplies in or, um, you know, just your journal, keep your journal, you know, clean and nice in there or, or whatnot. So we'll start with this one first and then I'll do a flip through of this one. This one's a little bit chunkier. Uh, than this one. Um, there are all, both of them are three signatures. Uh, I have not counted the pages yet, but that will be in the description. And they are both uh, pretty much the same size, uh, six and a half by four and a half. And they have a one and three quarter inch spine. Uh, so they're three signatures. I think I said that. Um, both of them have this elastic uh, band around them uh, for an enclosure. And there is like a crystal uh, button uh, that I've sewn on the elastic. So that just slips right off. Um, the front of this one has um, some glossy accents and Swarovski crystals in different colors. So that's just on the front and then this beautiful lace and that's all the way around uh, the edge of the book. Okay, let's go in. Okay, I'm going to sit down. Uh, the inside, both of them come with one of these index card journaling pockets. You can journal on the back of the pocket, and in them they each have a tag, and you can journal on that, both sides. And uh, this is just, I did a, uh, a video on how to make these. Um, so if you want to check that out, it was one video ago, and uh, they're quite simple to make. They're a window pocket with acetate and uh, like these pretty images in them. Uh, so that's in the inside front. Um, this paper was a die cuts with a view. Fairy tales is the name of the paper. And I also used a digital kit from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I can't remember the kit, but um, actually just some of the papers. I didn't use a lot of elements from it, just a few. So I've got uh, a couple of pockets here, and this is a beautiful, I've inked all around the edges of everything in this book. And there are a lot of, a lot of tuck spots and little pocket areas in it. Uh, but there's also a lot of room to write. So we've got two tags here. Uh, I have music paper on the back of most of the tags for writing. And um, here's a, t a tag in here. There's that music paper. And that's got some lace at the top. This says memories. In here are two tags. I'm not going to pull them out on in this tuck spot with pearl brads. So these kind of just go in the side, and there are a ton of these pockets throughout, these side lobe pockets. So um, you'll see the tags peeking out. Oh, that's what's the matter. It's hung up right there, the brad. Um, Got some of that paper from Shabby Dabby Doodahs. This is uh, some stenciling in here. This says Special Times, uh, tea stain papers. Uh, there's quite a bit of stenciling through it. Um, a lot of room to journal, a lot of variety of pages like I do in all my journals um, and vintage book pages out of, this one's out of an old Reader's Digest. So I'm just gonna quickly flip flip through. Here's some a ledger paper and this folds out like that. So there's a lot of room 
to write in this sweet little journal. Oops, that's getting hung up. So we've got a journaling card uh, on here with a mini um, Tim Holtz clip, some stenciling. We've got an envelope uh, pocket here. Uh, so there's a, a it's a there are pockets at the top, okay, of the envelope, and with two tags in them, and there's some crocheted trim and metal eyelets in those. We have a pocket on the front side uh, with a journaling card in it and a big pocket on in the middle and these both have uh, journaling cards in them or tags. And then this is all sewn around. A lot of sewing in the book and a uh, pocket on the back of it with another journaling card. So plenty of papers of different sizes to write. Uh, this says today. This is pretty stenciling. Old book page, uh, printed vellum. Another one of these side load pockets, actually it goes this way uh, with the coordinating papers and I did a little fancy edging on, on the ends of the tags and they have the pearl brads and these kind of just tuck in. Then there's also a pocket here with a nice large tag. Uh, another one of the side loads here this pretty paper this has a gold embossing on it the paper green with gold embossing uh two pearl brads two more tags right here this is a good place if you want to put photos on the backs of these uh these pr this pretty uh paper or whatever you want you can write on it you know, everything in a journal is meant to journal on or do or do your art in it or whatever you want to do, you know. There are no rules. Uh, another envelope um, pocket. And I've got a journaling tag in this pocket. I've got a tag here. I've got a little mini booklet here that I've run through the uh, index card. I ran through the embossing folder, just made um, a little belly band in the middle, and this cute little, this cute little tag here, and then another tuck spot in here. More vintage-looking papers, writing paper. Uh, this is book binding. I thought that was pretty fitting. And this was actually a picture of the old, uh, the old book binding methods. It's an old um, encyclopedia paper. Another side load pocket here with two more beautiful tags with those pearl brads. Uh, we've got a matchbook um, type uh, tablet here. And that I've just tucked right in this pocket. Another pocket here with a, a large flip-up tag with some coffee dyed paper in it. Where that you can, it's, a, it's almost like a bookmark, but you can use it for journaling and, or as a bookmark. Uh, another side load, here we go, <clears throat> pocket here with two more uh, large, or Eh, not large, medium-sized tags, and I rounded the edges of those. This says The Lady. It's an old um, book uh, page for a Reader's Digest. That was the name of the little story. Uh, this one has some, a couple of little today these kind of just peel right off. Actually, I need to put a little washi at the top of that. Put a little washi there before I send that out. 
before I send this out. These actually have not been spoken for yet. Um, they're going to be in my Etsy shop uh, tomorrow, Saturday. They'll be in there Saturday. Today's Friday, so I will put them in tomorrow. Uh, free shipping in my shop, and no, I did not raise my prices as Etsy. There's a big thing going around. If any of you have Etsy shops, I actually lowered some of my prices and am offering free shipping, so I'm really taking it. Um, you know, I'm not, it's just, it's gotten a little ridiculous, and I'm thinking about opening my own website. Um, to sell my books on because it's just it's you know i can't compete with the free shipping so and i ship everything out um priority and uh there it's anywhere from 14 to 17 dollars usually for me uh these smaller books if i sell two at one time i can get two in there but um you know this book I'll probably put in there for uh, $60, and that includes the bag and the book and the free shipping. And I've got a lot of supplies in here and a lot of time. So, you know, it's it's tough for us, you know, small little business owners uh, right now with Etsy. And here we go, we have the second one, and this one has a double lace, this beautiful lace that I acquired, um, all the way around. So there's two layers of lace, I don't know if you can see that. And this book is a little chunkier. Let me put this back in here. Okay. And um, there again, uh, the papers are gonna be similar, but a little bit different. You can see there's a different gold pattern here. And I've sewn the pockets. In here, again, is another one of these embossed um, window pockets with the tag in it. And you can journal, you know, right on the back. So it's a journaling card as well. And inside the front pocket, I have a little mini tablet here. This has been embossed. And two more tags right here. This is a, some a fabric trim at the top or a lace trim. So that's in the front pocket. And then in the pocket here, I've got uh, two like, um, crystal brads on these little tags are again I did the side load pockets all the way through this book as well and it kind of makes the book nice and heavy because I'm doing two pieces of cardstock back to back we have a tag here as well so this is a pretty place for you know you can journal or put photos some writing paper printed there is some stenciling in here. It's different than the last book. This says, of love. Old book page, uh, printed vellum, uh, more of these little, you know, uh, to do today uh, by per, per hour. It's really just for journaling or old book page, ledger, uh, tea dyed paper. Um, another envelope um, pocket here and we have uh, journaling tags in each of the pockets at the top and then I did some stenciling here and then I have a little pocket here with a um, journaling card here and a pocket back here with an embossed uh, tag here that I made. Book page, stenciling, vellum, writing paper. I like the old the old illustrate the paper the pages with the illustrations in the uh, old reader digest books. 
and stenciling. Another side load pocket here with two sweet little tags and I did some fancy little punching at the ends of the tags. So there's a lot, there's more room in the pocket other than to just do the two tags. Uh, that's more for looks and you can, you know, take these out, move them around and then put little written notes in these pockets, you know, these side lobe pockets because they go from there to here. Uh, here we've got a little flip up with some lined music paper on the inside. That's in this pocket. Another pocket here with a uh, large tag with that pretty green and embossed gold and two little button, I don't know if you can see that's a little button, two little button brads, uh, little green button brads in the top of these two tags and they kind of just hook right over the edge of the notch. Paper, some stenciling, book page plenty of room to write in here it's a smaller journal you know this way but there's a there's a lot of pages in it I did not tie off the middle of these actually I'm gonna trim those you can put a knot in it or you can cut them all the way off if you want or put beads on them uh, this is uh, waxed linen. Uh, it's very heavy duty. So I've got some stenciling here. Stenciling. Another side load uh, pocket with two of those sweet little um, button brads. I need to order brads. I, I've used a lot of brads in these books. Uh, the side low pockets, all my pearl brads are pretty much gone. And I really like those. Those are, they, they add a, a nice interest to the top of a tag on the side low pocket. This has the pretty little corners. This is nice heavyweight cardstock too. Uh, we've got two large tags here. I'm not going to pull them out. I think, well, I will pull it out. Yeah, there's music, uh, there's music paper on the back. And um, got some crocheted trim at the top with a metal bra, with a metal grommet, rather, or eyelet there. And we've got a little tag here and another tag here behind it. This is, yeah, this folds out. Some pretty stenciling, some lined paper, uh, music paper, um, old book page. This is an, a scholar and calligrapher of the Middle Ages inscribing a book. Quite fitting. Um, another, um, envelope pocket and uh, we this is a side the side loads and there's two large this is from that shabby dabby shabby dabby doodah uh, kit pieces of the of that kit that I used it's pretty it's got little roses and it's got some uh, some baby blue and some pink roses and then some uh, images on them and it's, it's nice and then I've got a pocket here with a flip up tag and a, an envelope here with some washi and in you can you can take this envelope off and you know put something in it and gift it if you want this has a little tag in it and I've just done the washi on both sides and it's just washi down so let me trim off a little bit of this those strings, some stenciling. Book, <laughs> yep. Stenciling, some more ledger paper. 
tea dyed paper and some more printed and then the last uh side load pocket with um two tags one in each with the pearl brad and the inside of these pockets are have um this card stock's printed on both sides so if you look down in there there's um you can see it's printed on the inside then we've got two pockets here with a large tag here a tag here and then a journaling card here and uh, this has some of that crocheted um, yarn or crocheted trim at the top and um, that's the back of the book so uh, I hope you enjoyed this flip through of these two journals and they will be in my Etsy shop in the morning uh, with the bags they, they come in the bags so okay guys thanks for stopping by and thanks for supporting me okay bye bye